The NBA on 2K Sport. And Grant, you look at these rosters. A lot of talent in the backcourt. Oh, a sign of the times, B.A. Agility and skill is in demand, and that is on display tonight. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. Ball and Levine make up the backcourt. Johnson is out there with Nikola Vucevic. And it's DeRozan in at the three. And he comes up with a bucket. Well, this is when Fox is at his best. Once he gets a step on the defense, you're pretty much going to read the back of that jersey. And Ball gets it to go. And here's Fox. He's been an important part of this offense, averaging around 22 points a game. Here's Metu. Johnson with the defensive effort. Healed against DeRozan. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. You see right there, that is why everybody is still very high on Lonzo Ball. Has a sixth sense for win addition. Fox against Ball. Fires from 14. Jump shot is good. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal. Tonight. Now here's DeRozan. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. This guy just knows how to finish. DeRozan keeps his focus on the basket and delivers. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball. That's his first foul That's of the game. Williams has checked in for Johnson. Bulls substitution. Patrick Williams. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. Out of bounds. It'll be Bulls ball. For Chicago, they've gone three of three out of the gate. Ball passes to Williams. Vucevic with it. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Halliburton against Levine. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Shooting for Chicago. Zach Levine. Shooting just one. Free throw, good from Levine. <laughs> and every year, Levine seems to get better and better. His work ethic and desire to be great is evident. Halliburton with the ball, guarded by Vucevic. Tyrese Halliburton opened some eyes in his That's first his season first and the way that he played. I mean, Second just has such back. a headiness about him. Ended up being the 12th pick in the draft. And Halliburton has had an outstanding rookie season, Brent. Well, it's his skill set, B.A., that I think is something that you just got to admire. He plays the game with great pace. He sees the next play before it happens. And then his willingness to step up in big moments, that's been huge. DeRozan into the lane. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. And DeRozan, just so crafty on those moves, slips right through the contact for the finish. Pass to Lynn. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the lay-in. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just work and work on the boards. Generate second chance opportunities. And hopefully convert. Now here's DeRozan. He has six. And the shot goes. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Box the pass to Heald. Fires the three. Ball with the rebound. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Halliburton against Levine. Pass to Metu. Outside heel. Just five to shoot. And a miss there on the triple. Chicago leading. The kick out to Ball. Fires the three. That shot is off. 
Sacramento has gone 0 for 2 from outside. And it's healed that time on the assist from Fox. And the spacing right there for Buddy Heald allows him to get that shot off. You just can't give him that kind of space or he's going to hurt you. And it's a completely new group for the Kings. For Chicago, they've got six of eight shots to go. And it's Caruso on the take. And Holmes with the block. Pass to Davis. Let's a floater go. Jones with the block. Make some noise, game. Driving in. And slammed it home. And a Rashawn foul. Holmes. A chance at another That's point at the line. Rashawn Holmes picks one up. Wow. I'll tell you, such That's an advantage goals. having a playmaker Alex who can get up to the rim and finish. One now shot. that is what every team wants. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Sacramento has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Pass to Bagley. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Going to have to do more to shut down Bagley. Bradley sets a screen. Outside, Brown. Here's Caruso. Checked by Mitchell. White for three. That one is off. So Sacramento will take it the other way. Victory eluded them last time in Chicago when they faced the Bulls. And, and you know, I mean, they played with great energy all the way through. Just fell a little bit short. Well, it would have been really nice to get that win on the road. But no team ever happy with a loss. They put up a good fight. They had nothing to hang their heads on after that one. Here's Mitchell. The Bulls making their last shot. Pass to Barnes. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltender. It's Brown on the wing. Drives to the hoop. Here's Bradley. And he banks in the layup. Of all the action assist happening there, Troy it's the assist Troy that Brown. jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. The three from Mitchell. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. The baskets were coming early and often in the first quarter. Bulls out in front, leading by five. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Just tuning in. Second quarter action is where we are. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Chicago. They've pounded the ball inside in the first half. Forcing the defense to collapse, that could free up shooters going forward. I'm loving the ping pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. Terrence Davis out there with De'Aaron Fox. Then it's Marvin Bagley. Then there's Tristan Thompson. And it's Heal in at the three. The small forward. That's the five out there for the Kings. Now here's Davis. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Well, we talked about shortening the season, Brent. What do you think about the proposal to shorten games? That's an interesting one, B.A. You wonder how the records get affected and uh, what it does to the integrity of the game. Something to think about. Maybe they try it during the summer league to see how that plays out. I don't know if it's going to change anytime soon. Just an intelligent play by DeRozan. Takes full advantage of the open gap in the defense. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks, Brian. Well, Zach Levine with his first All-Star selection in 2021. And then the Bulls added a second All-Star, Nikola Vucevic, at the trade deadline. Levine said, we got another big-time player here. Guys, with this combination, they have a chance to be special. Well, they're putting some pieces together, Allie. Thanks for that. And Sacramento has possession after the basket by Chicago. Banked it in off the glass. Fox has got six. The closer that Fox gets inside, the more effective he could say. I guess you could say he's good in the Fox hole. On the wing, DeRozan. Guarded by Heel. And DeRozan, here we go. Oh, he gets it to go. So far, he can't miss. He's four for four. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. 
Now approaching two minutes of action here in the second. White against Fox. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Give him eight points now. So slick with the ball. Fox getting in there and busting out a few moves. Some changes for Sacramento. Holmes, he's checked in for Thompson. Metu comes in for Bagley. And Halliburton is subbed in for Heal. Ball, he's checked in for Chicago. Now here's Ball. This is one where the second foul is probably going to cost you some minutes in this game. King's foul. Chemezi Metu. That's his and we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. It's Levine with a drive. Great start so Zach far. Levine. Three of three in this one. Man, that's now ten straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Halliburton against Levine. Halliburton outside. Holmes, a screen on Levine. Halliburton. The shot, no good. Vucevic with some nice D. On the wing, DeRozan. Back to Levine. Vucevic, a screen on Fox. And Levine, here we go. And Levine throws it down. Oh, man. What a show this guy puts on. Once Levine has momentum behind him, he's clear for takeoff. Now here's Halliburton. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. 14 feet away. Chicago grabs the miss. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. Yeah, it was relentless play at both ends of the court in that game. They were able to seize control and maintain it. Yeah, and going back and watching that game, there was not one spot on the floor that they did not own. Here's Metu. Sacramento again missing. With nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. It's DeRozan with a drive. And the dunk Come by DeRozan. I, I really don't think there's any way to slow them down. They have the defense scrambling out there. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. And some changes here for the Kings. Lenz checked in for Metu. Barnes comes in for Davis. And Mitchell subbed in for De'Aaron Fox. So Chicago going with an almost entire new group here. Bradley, he's checked in for Nikola Vucevic. Jones comes in for Williams. Brown, he's checked in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Caruso in for Zach Levine. Now here's Halliburton. Coming off a 16-point game against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. And here's Brown for three. Barnes with the rebound. The Kings have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Mitchell. Off the mark, and the drought continues. The Bulls have gone seven for eight now in the second quarter. Jones drives in. Down low. Here's Bradley. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. They have no answer defensively inside. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. That'll be a second foul of the game. And some changes here for the Kings. Bagley's checked in for Holmes. And Heald is subbed in for Halliburton. Marvin Bagley! There's 45 seconds left in the first half of this game. Bagley for three. It doesn't go for him. The Bulls have gone eight for nine here in the second. On the wing, Bradley. There's Ball with a three. Bulls foul. Tony Bradley. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Sacramento has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to heel. Outside Barnes for three. Again, the miss by the Kings. There's Ball with a three. Sacramento grabs the miss. Defeated by Utah in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, we know that on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the miss Kings. Okay, Ali, appreciate it. Hello, everybody. The news is in. Players of the week have been named. Let's see who's hot. 
Hey, Shaq, could you know you won 20 Player of the Week awards in your career? That's it. I was thinking more like 100. Mm, here we go again. Get over it, Shaq. Ernie, I think you need to research your research. No, it's, oh, you got 21. I'm sorry. And time now to acknowledge what was a tremendous half of play for the Bulls. They were in such a groove that entire first half, especially on the offensive end. Good play calling, good execution, and by and large, they take good, not good, great shots. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson with the start of the third quarter. lopsided first half. We'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. You know, DeMar DeRozan has been exceptional here, guys. He's been excellent at cutting through the defense and giving them fits around the basket. And you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. On the court for Chicago. Ball and Levine make up the backcourt. DeMar DeRozan is out there with Alizé Johnson. And it's Vucevic in at the five down low. And it's the Kings with the ball. It's a 16-point game. Here's Fox. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. And the dunk by Levine. Just a really gifted athlete. Levine's speed makes him an effective penetrator. Sacramento shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. Fox against ball. Now here's Fox. He's covered closely. Pass to Halliburton. Six on the shot clock. There's the screen by Lynn. Halliburton misses. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Levine passes to Ball. Up top, Vucevic. An aggressive player on offense, scoring around 16 a game. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. Vucevic has gone 3 of 4 here from the field. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Fox with the ball, and Johnson picks him up defensively. Pass to Lynn. Halliburton on the wing. There's a screen by Lynn. Inside. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Now you got to set up a quality screen, and right there, Alex Lynn does a great job. Rolls with purpose in that pick and roll. Some changes for Sacramento. Thompson comes in for Lynn. And it's Holmes in for Metu. Williams is checked in for Chicago. White comes in for Ball. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Halliburton, the pass to Holmes. Fox outside. Softly drops in the floater. Fox has got four points now in the quarter. Well, Grant, does it seem like teams are carrying fewer specialists than they used to? You know, B.A., I actually think there's more specialists. I mean, think about it. You have certain players who can do everything, who are versatile, who can carry a team. But then you surround them and complement them with guys who can knock down open jump shots. So I actually think you have more specialists, a lot of them being shooters who can space the floor for their ball club. White against Fox. Shoots over White. And it's Fox missing. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Back to Levine. Vucevic, the pass to White. Vucevic, a screen on Fox. And here is Vucevic. He's covered by Fox. Five on the clock. Here's Levine for three. And his first miss of the day. Now six for seven. For Sacramento, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. And it's healed, missing. I saw a green light there. The D's not going to get away with that kind of lapse all that often here tonight. 
White, the pass to Williams. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tristan Thompson. That's his first foul of the game. He didn't have his feet planted. Some changes for Sacramento. Bagley's checked in for Thompson. Barnes comes in for Heald. And Mitchell subbed in for Halliburton. So Chicago going with an almost entire new group here. Bradley, he's checked in for Vucevic. Jones comes in for Williams. Brown, he's checked in for DeRozan. And it's Caruso in for Zach Levine. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks, Brian. Last season, Draymond Green called out what he saw as a double standard. When players ask for trades, they're vilified. But teams can announce they're planning to trade a player and sit him on the bench in the meantime. And then it's taken in stride. Guys, he feels like it's disrespectful. Well, that's something to consider, Allie. Thanks. Good stuff. The drive by Mitchell. Jones with the block. And it's out of bounds to Sacramento. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Here's Fox. Barnes passes to Holmes. Outside Barnes. Five to shoot. Back to Bagley. Launches a three. Bradley grabs the board. The Bulls have gone six of seven and appearing confident in this half. White against Bagley. Pass to Bradley. Here's Caruso. Into the lane. Over Mitchell. Back to Brown. On the wing, Jones. On the wing, Jones to the middle. It's stolen by Barnes. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Bagley for three. Rebound by the Bulls. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Here's Caruso. Oh, and makes it Alex with the kiss. Caruso. Caruso's got his second bucket of the night. Just what they wanted from that possession. A quality look in tight. Here's Fox. Can't connect from 14. And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. It's the Bulls running away with this one. And we're coming right back after this break. All right, look who's coming out onto the court. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Mitchell and Halliburton, the guards. Alex Lynn is out there with Chemezi Metu. And it's Heal in at the three. That's the five out there for the Kings. Halliburton misses. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball. Sacramento Ball. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Sacramento Kings. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up with Drew Holiday and the Milwaukee Bucks. And then Friday, they'll be facing Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. Checking out their schedule, they've got a tough run of games coming up. But quality opponents are a great chance for you to see how well your team can truly perform. Back to heel. Six to shoot. There's a screen by Lynn. Here's Halliburton. Yeah, this has been a night where you can look at his shooting and his performance, and it's affected the team. That's the bottom line. Ball with it. Halliburton picks him up. And Ball gets it to go. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Halliburton misses. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. DeRozan finds Levine. And the top pick in this year's draft, Cade Cunningham. 
Grant, I heard some insiders compare you to him. You like those comparisons? Well, he's 6'8 with skill, sees the floor, I think approaches the game the right way. Maybe not the leaper I was, but tremendously talented, and I'm so eager to see how he develops. He's got a bright future in front of him. The three from Mitchell. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. First team. Ooh, good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Thompson, he's checked in for Lynn. Jones comes in for Metu. Harkless is checked in for Heald. And it's Davis in for Halliburton. Johnson, he's checked in for Chicago. Green comes in for Zach Levine. You gotta slow him down. If he gets ahead of speed like that and measures those steps, Lonzo's gonna throw it down. The Kings have got none of their shots to go in this final quarter. 0 for 4. Outside Mitchell. Back to Fox. Mitchell up top. Pass to Fox. Shoots over ball. And it's Fox missing. The Bulls have gone 3 of 4 in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Here's Caruso. And out of bounds. Sacramento will have it. Some changes for Chicago. Bradley, he's checked in for Vucevic. Jones comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Brown in for Ball. Troy Brown. Brown against Mitchell. And he drives in. He gets it in there. Mitchell's got four points now in the quarter. And here are the Bulls now. Pass to Jones. Back to Caruso. And he makes it on the layup. Alex Caruso. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Two minutes. Now Mitchell. And Mitchell with the slam. Well, Fox with the eyes and ears up that time. Good vision to facilitate. We've got 1.55 left in the fourth quarter. Back to Caruso. Up top, Brown. Checked by Mitchell. And Brown with the stuff. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, why well, he settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Thompson goes in. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Just in Thompson straight to the rack and taking care of the ball as well. Minute 32 left in the fourth. Bagley against Johnson. Pass to Bradley. The kick out to Johnson. Here's Caruso. On the wing, Jones. Down to five on the shot clock. Takes it inside. And he jams it home with authority. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Bulls. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And when we look at their record, this game pushes them to 49 wins. Only a two-game series, and they win both. They have to be satisfied with this. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Zach Levine. We saw him get a lot of touches tonight, and he wasted very few of them. Really made himself the backbone of their offense. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. And where was this type of effort earlier in the game? Unfortunately, this run will be all for nothing. Consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight, they just did not find it in this contest. Here's Mitchell, and Mitchell with the slam. That's a pretty easy opportunity for a teammate, all courtesy of Harrison Barnes. Chicago with the ball. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And it's Caruso on the take. And he can't get that one. Pass to Bagley. It's Barnes on the wing. 
That shot off the mark. So it's the Bulls winning this one easily. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this one. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And that'll do it, folks. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Zach Levine.